Number nine, we have the probability of some event E is equal to 0.73. We want to find the odds in favor of E. Okay, so when they give you probability, kind of like I was giving a small example of in the first example, probability of E is 0.73. So if we put that in fraction form, that's basically 73 over 100. Okay, So these, this is the probability. The odds separate these into two groups. So odds okay, would take the top. So odds of E would be 73. And then you would do that 100, the total, minus and take out the 73 to find out what's in the other group or what's remaining. And that will leave us with 27. So the odds would be 73 to 27. And I don't think these will reduce. So just 73 to 27. And 10, uh, this says two integers are randomly selected from the set 1 through 9 and are added together, find the probability that their sum is 13 um, if they are selected, and then with replacement and without replacement. So we're going to look at similar to that dice example, okay? Um, and we want their sum to be 13, all right? <clears throat> so I'm not going to fill out the whole table, but I'm just going to give you an idea of what's going on. We're going to have one two three four five six seven eight nine and i'm also going to do a column one two three four five six seven eight nine all right <clears throat> so we would be filling in Two integers. So um, with replacement would be one one here, and then one two, one three, one four, one five, one six, one seven, one eight, one nine. <clears throat> and then um, we will fill this in all the way down. All right, so what numbers will add to be 13? Uh, none of these. That would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So we don't get to 13 until, let's just say, let's go from 9. Uh, 9, 2 is 11, 12, 13. So 9 and 4 right here. 9, uh, or let's actually say 4 and 9. 4 and 9. So if you recall the dice example, how the diagonal added, it will be the same here, okay? So if I did uh, 4, 8, that would be 12. That would be the one in front of it. Okay, so on the next row that will give me 13 would give us 5 and 8, just coming down that diagonal. Like you can fill all these in if you want, but since we're only focusing on 13 and whatever number you're focusing on, just find that first one. And then we're going to go diagonal. So 4 and 9, 13, 5 and 8. The next row come 1 down and 1 over. That will give us 6 and 7. And then 1 down, 1 over. That will give us 7 and 6. 1 down, 1 over. That will give us 8 and 5. And then 1 down, 1 over. That will give us 9, 4. So these four, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 terms will give us a sum of 13 when we randomly pick two numbers. Since this is a nine row by nine column, nine times nine will give us 81. So there are 81 possible combinations and one, two, three, four, five, six add to 13. So the probability of 13, this is with replacement. So that means you can repeat the number. So that means we would have the, the term 2, 2 here. And we would have 3, 3. And we have uh, all the way down the diagonal repeats. So that's what it means, repeats. 
So for this, uh, the probability of getting a 13 is 6 out of 81. If we reduce, divide both by 3, that will give us 2 out of 27. So the probability of getting um, a 13 when you can use repeated numbers or with replacement, that's what that means. You take one, you put it back, and you can get the same number again, it will be 2 out of 27. Okay. Coming from 6 out of 81. Now, part 2 says without replacement. So without replacement, we're going to get rid of the repeat. So that means the 1, 1, we're not going to use it. 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 numbers. So we had 81 total. Okay. So we're going to take the 81 total that we still have. We're just getting rid of the repeat. So that means we can't get the same number twice. So that's going to give us 72 combinations. And there's still 6 that will add to 13. These same 6 are still in there. We didn't get rid of any of those. So probability of getting a 13 when replacement is no longer in the mix is 72 on the bottom, 6 on the top. And we can divide both of these by 6, and that will give us 1 12. Okay? So um, I was a little bit lazy not making the whole table, but hopefully you follow that explanation. If you don't, you can always email and uh, we can go over this again. But that is what you want to do. So with replacement means we can use the same number. There are 2 out of 27 uh, chance there. And then uh, without replacement, that means we cannot use those repeated numbers. We will get rid of all those. And this would give us um, 1 out of 12. 